it's pretty complicated. Hello everyone, my name is Maggie and this is another episode of RC Modified. We have another 1970 Dot Charger. This one will not have a V8 bit a supercharger. But it will have a V8 bit of plenum intake instead. We're gonna give it a modern look. We got some wheels and drift tires. Engine sound, ESC, 55T motor. Transmitter and receiver. The body will be black, PS5. The front grille will be gunmetal, PS23. I'm gonna start with the M Drift 2 chassis. I'm gonna take off the white stickers. I improved a bunch of parts again. There is one major design change. So this is the old design. You mount these two pieces together using four screws from the front like that. The problem with that is I have to remove the servos just to get to the screws. With the new design, there will still be four screws, but I can get them from the top and the bottom instead. One more thing I want to show you guys. If it's too hard to put the bearing inside the knuckle, you can use a 10 millimeter dowel pin. On both sides. Time to assemble the V8 engine. Okay. <laughs> It's pretty complicated. From a regular servo reverser to inline servo reverser. I do this so that I don't have to use too much wire. I don't cut this part right here. Put a ruler on the bottom of the skirt. That's where I'm gonna start cutting up to this point.
The width of each body is a little bit different. It's nice that I can use different length spacers. It's time for the masking stickers. And I'm gonna be using Rapid Tag to make it easier to put on the stickers. Rapid Tag is recommended by Dark Dragon Wing on Amazon. The link is in the description. For the trims, I will paint PS5 and then clear coat. There was a dust spot on this thing, so I have to clean it and repaint. I cut about 3 millimeters off from the top of the pedals. This is a white LED strip and it will only work with the white LED for the turn signals. I tried the yellow one, it doesn't work with the white LED strip. Because of the rear light buckets, you will have to sand this one down a little bit. I just discovered something guys. I got two switches, one for the ground and one for the positive. It switches on the ground first, then the positive like this. When I disconnect the negative, it's fine. You can hear two clicks. So I'm gonna put tape under this one just so that it will click at the same time. Or the positive will click first, which will be fine too. Only one click. Let's put that to the test. I'm thinking about putting the charger logo right there in front of the grill. I'm adding more double-sided tape, the thin one, so that it's a little thicker than just the flimsy sticker. This is how you take out the battery. Hide the wires. Done. The switch is down here. Turn on this lever and going forward at the same time, we'll turn the engine on and the sound on at the same time. This one is horn. This one is right height. Channel three is the clutch. To turn on the headlights, you have to turn on the engine first.
it guys I thought it would be done in like a week but <laughs> it's a month later this one is already sold guys the offer is awesome I hope you guys enjoy it and find it helpful thank you and have a nice day Sorry,